What's going on, everybody? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. We have a kind of a, a mix between space news and space anomalies today, which is kind of interesting. A lot of good stuff about space has been coming out lately when it comes to anomalies. A lot of the video, I, I had one hit viral recently. My buddy uh, Brian's got a couple out there going viral right now. Thomas, is, uh, all sorts of good stuff going on. Um, and it's actually getting a lot of exposure, you know, to the main public. And this was kind of cool. I just was going on space.com. It says, NASA finds mysterious bright spot on dwarf planet Cirrus. What is it? I think I'm saying the name right. I've looked it up a couple times. I've heard a couple other newscasters say it. So hopefully I'm uh, saying the name of it. It's a dwarf planet. Um, it's pretty neat. And here's the spot up here. Um, I'll read you a little bit of this article. But here is a, uh, I just want to show you the... This is a picture of it from, we have a, a Dawn spacecraft going out there, and it's called NASA Dawn. And uh, it's pretty amazing, um, pretty amazing thing. where it's, it's stopped by Vesta already, which is an asteroid. Um, and it, it's basically, it sits out in the asteroid belt, and it's one of the biggest things out there. So I'll give you a little bit of a, uh, a lesson. A scientist use Herschel Space. This is cool right here because it also has a detected with water on this place. I mean, this is a little dwarf planet somewhere we're interested in. Um, and just, it keeps getting more and more interesting as it goes. Now, this could, like I said, I'm wondering if this is maybe uh, we're watching a hit, an asteroid hit, something along those lines. Um, who really knows? I mean, it, it, there's amazing things show up on like planets like Jupiter all the time and things like that, but this this just happens to come up as um, you know Dawn's uh, space telescope is approaching it. So, a strange flickering, flickering white blotch found on the dwarf planet Cirrus by a NASA spacecraft has scientists scratching their heads. The white spot on Cirrus in a series of new photographs taken on January 13th by the spacecraft, which is rapidly approaching the round dwarf planet in an asteroid belt between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. But when the initial photo released on Monday, the Dawn scientists gave no indication of what the white dot might be. Yes, we can confirm it's something on Cirrus that reflects the sunlight, but what this remains a mystery, Mark Raymond, a mission director of the chief engineer of the Dawn mission, told Space.com. Um, the new images show an area light and dark on the face of Cirrus, which indicates surface features like craters. But at the moment, none of the spe specific features can be resolved, including the white spot. Actually, we will be getting it soon, because the thing's moving in pretty fast. We do not know what the white spot is, but certainly intriguing, Remus said. In fact, you may so you want to spend the space graph there to find out. And of course, that is exactly what we are doing. So as Dawn brings Cirrus into the sharper focus, we will see what exquisite detail what the white spot is. Cirrus is a unique object in our solar system. It's the largest object in the asteroid belt and is classified as an asteroid. It's simultaneously classified as a dwarf planet. At that's pretty interesting, too. I didn't know that it was actually both. It did not 590 miles across. So that's, that's a pretty big little chunk of, uh, of rock out there. Um, so there's this small known dwarf planet in our solar system. So this talks a little bit about the, the, the mission. Now, I've got the video for it here. Let me, let me show you a little bit more about it. Well, here, let me give you the video real quick. Here it is right here. Here's, here's the series of photographs time-lapped a couple times here. Look how it does kind of blink. It's kind of interesting. Um, we're looking at... See it? Um, let me just zoom in on it. Is it blinking off or is it moving? Look at the rotation of the uh, the object. It seems to be very either it's rotating very. Uh, look at how it comes up here like that. But it seems when you get the close of it, it seems to move a little bit left and right. Let me check it out here. Here's this is the uh, another version that that's as big as I can make it on here. That's just a GIF file from it. It's pretty interesting, though. It's definitely a huge piece. Let me see back up here. So what do you guys think? Comment below. Let me know. It's definitely uh, it's definitely intriguing. I can't wait till the spacecraft gets there and figures it out. But the rotation, it's all, it does... I wonder if also the spacecraft is moving so it doesn't have a perfect... It's not set in orbit, so it definitely maybe it's... That's what's doing the shaking of it. 
But you can see, if, let me just put my mouse in one spot and see how it's... That's probably what it is, because it seems like everything seems to be rotating that way. But it's pretty cool. I, I said, this is the kind of stuff I like putting up, and uh, I want to see what you guys think about it. I'll link all these up for you guys if you want to download it. Also, here, a little bit more about the about the actual, uh, you know, the little dwarf planet, and as well as... I thought, no, I thought that was it here. We will find it. Okay, here we go. The History and Discovery. This was pretty cool. Now, here it is. Check it out. Here's what they think, because there's been water plumes found on it, and, and actually pictured. I don't have the pictures. I should have downloaded them before the video, but serious layout. All right. Thin, dusty outer crust, which is pretty cool, with the rocky inner core and a water ice layer. So they think it's ice. Now, it's got water plumes for when it heats up. So if we go here, the Herschel Telescope had taken a picture of it, and when it says... Um, for the first time, water vapor has been unequivocally detected on Cirrus and its other objects in our asteroid belt and provides proof that Cirrus has an icy surface and atmosphere. All right. So it's a place it's a all these dwarf planet. It's amazing what's flying around that we might actually be able to land on one day. And, and you know, God only knows from there. Yeah, really, we really don't know. Um, what conditions you know we can live in? What we might be able to live in? What we can't live in? I think uh, that the universe might not be as you know how they always say that to pinpoint the perfect planet for us. Maybe that's not the case. You know, maybe there's a lot of more things out there that, that aren't exactly like we have. Uh, you know, uh, planets revolving around suns. We've got you know the exoplanets, rogue planets. Uh, who knows? These things. You know, they're they're not maybe they have internal heat. You know, that, that could control all sorts of different stuff. Could, could make food, could, uh, you know, control water. Um, maybe you don't need the exact same setup here as Earth. That's what I'm getting at for you guys. But I thought this was interesting today, and I wanted to get it to you guys. Um, it's definitely NASA. When I see stuff, when they're saying stuff is mysterious, it, it, it either looking to send something more out or looking for more funding, but you know, maybe that's the case. But I th this is just great. We're, we're moving forward in space. I really think 2015 is going to be a heck of a year. We've got an awful lot of good photos um, just for the anomalous side of my page. I do the space news a lot, but since this was both to say, I think I'll mix this up. I'll just put it up there as a, uh, as just a, uh, with, you know, space news probably or something like that but all right guys much love to you what's up in the sky i hope you're having a good weekend it is starting it is friday tgif it was almost fr friday's ending here in the united states and i uh, hope you have a good one peace